Perry Neat, encouraging her former employees to lie to Oklahomans who were desperate for jobs. On the recordings, you hear a woman who identifies herself as Neese give detailed instructions on how her employers can, employees rather, can make money if they're willing to deceive their clients. You need a little luck, lots of drive and initiative, and you must manipulate people 24 hours a day. News Force Peyton Yeager is joining us now live. And these recordings, Peyton, are allegedly from Nisa's employee training sessions at her business. Yeah, Terry Nisa allegedly handing all her employees this recorded tape. But one employee didn't give it back. She kept it. And now, years later, she's releasing it to News 4. One of the main things in the whole sphere of this is control. The voice of a woman who identifies herself as Republican politician Terry Neese recorded on training tapes dating back decades, appearing to outline a set of rules counselors at Neese's former staffing agency must follow. This is where Hollywood and acting becomes a big part of this business. The woman on the tape encouraging the employees to lie to applicants face to face while pretending to help them land a job. Pick up the telephone, dial your home phone number, or call a number where you know no one will answer. At other times, on the nearly two hours of tape, the instructor is heard going into detail, describing a deceptive plan to call an Oklahoma company and use a phony name and offer a fake seminar in order to obtain that company's employee directory so that Nisa's organization could recruit away the company's valued employees. After losing four or five good people, they might change their minds and hire from me. The recordings and a letter dropped off anonymously to News 4. Inside, documents from someone who says she once worked for Terry Neese. The tipster describes herself as a female business owner who is neither a right-wing nut nor a left-wing nut, saying she's an ordinary citizen, the mother of a Marine who voted for George W. Bush twice and believed the Clinton administration had low moral and ethical standards. The same packet sent to Washington, D.C. 15 years ago. At the time, President George W. Bush had nominated Nice to be the director of the U.S. Mint. But less than 24 hours from the confirmation hearing, Nice surprisingly backing out, claiming her family comes first. News 4 now learning the White House had their hands on the tapes, allegedly ordering Nice to withdraw. Fast forward to Tuesday, Oklahoma, a week out from Terry Neese and State Senator Stephanie Bice's highly anticipated runoff for Congressional District 5, and the two matching up at a debate inside Tower Theater. It was you, Stephanie. <laughs> that is absolutely unequivocally false. No, it's not. I know the truth. I have, I have nothing to do with those tapes. Neither have I. It's anonymous. I have no idea where it's coming from. Uh, just one quick clarification. I is that you on the tapes? I've not listened to the tapes. Great. Thank you. Nice also accused of promising applicants pay increases and interviews with future employees. Also tonight, she's sticking with her story. She did not take the U.S. Mint position because her mother was living in Oklahoma City. Kevin, back to you.